Jess Streamers, welcome back to the show. Nayo, how was your break? Did you play Rumi Cube the whole time? Of course, I'm a master at it now. Gotta play you one day. Sure, if you say so. Anyways, let's get right into today's Jetstream trivia question. That's right. What sports did Miss Luch play in high school? Sports, it's plural. Leave your guesses in the comments and wait till the end to find out the answer. Today, we take you to a unique cafe, we explore the Skek STEM Fair, and lastly, we dig into a very important lunch club. I am Nayeon Kim. And I'm Grace Cho, reporting to you from Daegu International School. These stories and more on today's Jetstream. Jetstream. These stories and more on today's Just Dream. First off, we are turning up the heat with something you don't see every day, a sauna cafe. Imagine sipping coffee in a shower. Well, that's one way to make sure your coffee stays on. I bet this is something you never heard before. Let's see what Haley and Flora brewed up for us. This is Haley, and I'm here today with Flora to review a unique Mugukthang concept cafe in Dongsonglu. Let's go check this place out. So, we just ordered our menu, and I ordered blueberry yogurt smoothie, and I ordered one signature drink and a cake. We're so excited! And since we have to wait, let's see what's in this cafe. After we ordered, we went to eat and drink on the second floor to experience the sauna concept. The whole point of going to this place is because it truly used to be a functional sauna, Mogyukthang in Korean. Good. Now let's try the cake. Mm. Laura, how's the cake? I like the mocha flavor of this cake. It's really good. Mmm, it's so good. After enjoying our dessert, we went up to the third floor. Let's check out the amazing artwork on the third floor of the cafe. graffiti Hey Flo, what would you rate this place out of 10? Mm, I'll rate this place 10 out of 10 Why? I really enjoyed the drink and I really enjoyed the dessert too Me too Hey Jets, if you ever come by Dongsonglo, you should definitely stop by Munhajang and have some fun And now, back to the studio from sauna heat to science feats, let's jump right into the Skak STEM Fair hosted right here at DIS. The gymnasium transform into a science and tech lab for a day. That's right, let's check out what our young scientists have been up to. Yo Jets, I'm in the gym right now and this year's Skak STEM Fair is held at DIS. Let's take a look. There were so many students. We had over 68 projects from seven different SCAC schools, and over 100 students came. I felt like the student projects were amazing. The students worked so hard and learned so much that, and they were, I was so happy that they were able to share their learning and uh, present to the judges today. 
everyone's projects were so big and I can see that they put lots of effort on it. I pretty much appreciate the judges for making me to come to this Gak STEM Fair. My project looks very cool because it looks like an infinite tunnel even though it looks very short from the outside. So I think that my judges will look at my infinity mirror and think that my project is pretty cool. All the projects are really interesting. I those plant things are especially interesting for me because I love plants and old lives. Uh, there were some interesting projects too and there are some like, yeah, like just normal projects and very interesting projects too, yeah. My one is about cultivating microalgae, so it was not that hardworking, but the result was quite good, so I'm, now I'm really happy about it. <laughs> It was obvious that a lot of work went into these projects and some of the results were not only surprising, but also just phenomenal. Jane and Ollie, Grace Chuck. Wow, those projects were fascinating. I can see how much effort they put it in. This was Rena Lee, and back to the studio. Wow, wasn't that STEM fair incredible? The creativity and enthusiasm of the students were through the roof. Absolutely. It's amazing to see what happens when you mix curiosity with science and technology. Next up, we are taking a look at the Peer Tutoring Club. It's a group of students that help out other students, plain and simple. In fact, Nayang here is the new president of the club. That's right, and I can tell you that it always brings me joy to help out other people. Then can you help me with Spanish, por favor? Cierto, siempre, mi amiga. <laughs> Let's check out this segment. Peer Tutoring Club, as our title states, is all about peer tutoring. We hope to open a non-judgmental, supportive academic peer tutoring system here at Daegu International School. As a vice president, I organize the videos and tasks for members, as well as uploading those videos onto YouTube and website. Our YouTube channel is all about um, free video courses. We have around eight subjects taught both in and outside um, of Daegu International School where our qualified tutors um, provide an in-depth um, explanations and go-through of these subjects. Um, and we recently started a panel discussion where we gathered middle school students during the advisory period and have our tutors as panels to talk about studying in general, of how to stay organized, how to cope with transitions, and all about studying. And you also can reach out to us via our website, peertutoringclub.com, where you can email us any of your questions or even have access to our video course series. I joined the club because I love teaching other students and also I feel happy when they learn something from me. I really like how students can get help from um, upper class students, so that's why I decided to join this club. I want them to feel more comfortable with learning Algebra 1 and also for competitive coding. It would be better to teach them feel a little more comfortable with learning coding. Always visit us um, at the Upper Library from 1225 to 115. We have tutors with name tags waiting you there every single day except for Wednesday from 1225 to 1245. Peer Tutoring Club initiatives. We hope to provide a more non-judgmental and supportive academic tutoring system here at Daegu International School. Oh Check out the schedule and come visit the students that teach students five days a week. This is Luna Kong reporting for the Jetstream. Back to the studio. Thank you, Rena and Luna. Please come find us for any help. Well, now let's talk about school news. We have a big home basketball game against DMHS next Tuesday, so please come cheer for our athletes. That's right, go Jets! An answer for today's trivia question is a bit of a surprise. Miss Luch played all of the following. Volleyball, golf, cheerleading, dance team, and softball. Well, that's a lot. She must be healthy. Anyways, thanks for tuning in today, Jets. Stay safe and remember to stay determined, intellectual, and, and successful. successful.